Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers and this is Raijen do it yourself tutorials and today we will gonna be continuing our anime coloring tutorial since we have done um, coloring uh, I have done a coloring tutorial for the eye and last time for the skin so we will go now for the last part which is the hair so I'm just gonna uh, teach you how to color anime hair using a um, Photoshop CS6 so let's get on with it um, as you have seen into my previous tutorial I have uh, edited here because I don't like uh, my 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 first tutorial so now yeah we will go uh, into creating a new layer above the uh, this folders these are the eye and miscellaneous parts skin so we're just gonna add a new layer above it to color the hair and now we will need to highlight the uh, we will need to highlight all the parts of the hair using the magic wand tool so this is the magic wand tool here as you can see it's like the magic wand icon click on that and then go into your line work layer okay because that's where uh, uh, the part that we need to highlight click on it right so to add more of the hi highlighted parts of the hair just gonna press shift so you can add more okay can just manually color those other parts if we can't yeah basically in this tutorial I am using my genius graphic tablet my cheap genius graphic tablet and coloring this but you can also color it using your mouse it's just really easy when you're using Photoshop so I guess that's it uh, if you have highlighted uh, the necessary parts of the hair the next thing is this you go into this layer we'll just rename it as hair and then go to um, where is it here select option and then go to modify then expand and then we're just gonna add uh, to uh, expand it uh, the expand the selected layer uh, the selected magic one the area that the magic one has selected we're gonna just expand it with two pixels I guess um, just gonna control Z to undo that um, We'll just expand it with one pixel so that it will not overlap. Okay, I think that's good. Now the next part is if you're not sh if you're not sure on on the base color of uh, the base color of Lucy's hair, we're just gonna copy the color uh, by uh, having a reference image like this, and then we'll just uh, go to the uh, and press Alt. So that it will copy it there you go and then here get the bucket tool and click on the parts that you need to color okay so uh, those parts has been it has been highlighted by the magic wand tool so some of these parts are not so I'm just gonna color it manually by uh, taking using a brush I'm just gonna go for the solid one. Just be brush, change the size of it like that. Oops, capacity, change to solid one. We'll just 
delete those parts. Just change a bit the uh, pixel size. Uh, the brush preset that I use uh, is just the basic brush preset of uh, Photoshop. Coloring is really fun, uh, and yet it is really time consuming. That's it. We're just gonna erase those uh, colors that has overlap with an eraser tool. So I'm just gonna press E for that. Change the size a bit. to erase this part because uh, so in the time that we will gonna uh, clip uh, the shadow effects of the hair it will stay put onto that base color that we have colored into the hair and those uh, shadow uh, effects will not overlap There are other methods to do this, uh, like selecting the layer with a, a lasso or a, let's say this tool, what's this called? 
yeah you can do that and select it and delete it but I prefer using my uh, what you say uh, this brush tool uh, I mean the eraser tool in erasing so that my muscles can have uh, my muscles in my hands will have an exercise on how to create a perfect stroke so that every time when I draw my skills in strokes creating lines will be better and better so yeah so I prefer this kind of erasure because yeah, I'm not really that great yet when, uh, when using my graphic tablet in stroking especially in Photoshop because in Photoshop uh, Photoshop does not ha uh, does not have uh, what you call this uh, stabilizer option or in uh, as you stroke it will not get uh, you will not have uh, shaky lines when you do strokes when you have stabilizer so Photoshop does not have that so since it does not have that you have to really manually uh, have to uh, practice more of your strokes to perfect it but there are some uh, what would you say uh, third-party programs that will allow you to have a stabilizer option with uh, Photoshop CS6 any Photoshop uh, software you can use that I will uh, have a tutorial about it so that if you really like to use Photoshop and you want to have those stabilizer option I'll teach you how but later let's complete uh, this uh, erasing the, the base color of the hair first I like the, this kind of, uh, would you say the erasure because uh, you can see some of those uh, part of the of your coloring that has not been colored because you have to to uh, watch carefully when you erase some parts that you can you have not colored you can look at it while erasing then color it Oops. Too much. Um, to undo uh, you have control Z and if you want to have uh, If you want to undo more, the control the control Z part is uh, you can only use once. But this other option, this other undo option is uh, you'll just have to uh, hold on Control Alt and Z so that it will undo many times. I will not do a uh, speed uh, speed type of tutorial because I'm just like one of you guys that I don't get the hang 
every time I don't get the hang of every tutorial that does speeding it up I like it slow so that I know how the feel is or how to relate with it sometimes when you uh, when the tutorial is being sped up uh, there are uh, some information that you don't know or you don't actually uh, don't understand done I guess what I mean when I read when racing things your strokes have can be practiced with it so your muscles of your hands get to the hang of it more and more so it's uh, basically an exercise too I think we're done oh there's a part that I haven't raised yet Alright, so we do have now a uh, have the base color in the hair. When you don't have shadows and other effects on it, it's really look uh, boring. It's real, it, it does not feel alive or something like that. I'm just gonna erase this last part here. So the next part is we will gonna have those shadow effects of the hair, those dark colors. So in order to do that, we will just gonna uh, add a new layer above the hair layer that we have created. So we're just gonna press Control Alt N, then Enter, and then we're gonna clip it. So in order to clip it, I'm um, just gonna press Alt and then click down. So once we have done that, uh, we can now add those uh, shadow effects in here. So in order to do that, and if you're not unsure, we'll go ahead into our... Well, let's see this. Um, reference image. So we're just gonna copy those this parts here. So yeah, we're just gonna press Alt, then click. So we go back to our uh, image here. 
okay. So the next thing we'll do is just gonna use the hard color. As you can see here, as we color it, it does not overlap. So yeah, let's proceed in coloring. So yeah, when you do this uh, effect, all you have to do is just follow, follow the lines.
it will look sharp. Just erase that, those parts. Okay, so we have uh, that one. It's like really good now. So the next part is we're just gonna add a new layer above this. And we will still use uh, this color here, this shadow color that we use here. Our color. So yeah. But the next part is that you will gonna change the our brush pre preset here, and then we will go for this one, okay, and then change our opacity much bigger, something like that, something hundreds, eighties, then the opacity around sixteen, then color, so that it will add. Uh, some kind of a still shaded effect in it. Okay. That's neat. Uh, okay, and then a darker tone. No, darker tone. And then lighter tool. Something like that. And just copy that one. So I'm just going to color this. What's here? Just size it down. Just subtly. Alright. We have a nice effect there. Something like that. Alright. And then change. And you're just gonna add some. Highlight. And then we'll just gonna uh, follow this example here. or something will not go with the cell shaded effect that we have created so I'm just gonna create, take a brush here and then the solid one press and we'll just 
I'm gonna do something with this. Five pixels. I'm just gonna trace those lines there. I think that's really good. You don't need to overdo it. Just gonna choose on what looks better. I think that's really uh, pretty good now. And I think that's all that you have to do when you color the hair. So basically, you will gonna need some uh, around four layers: the base layer here, the hair, and then those shadow effects, those dark parts here. And then you're gonna still shade it by using this kind of brush, uh, this brush, and then change it to opacity around 15 to. Uh, 18 pixels it depends upon um, how you want it to uh, how you want the effect to be visible and then the last part is here wherein you will gonna highlight some parts of the hair you're gonna need to do it with a white color but you have to trace them subtly and not too much because it will look really bad if you do it too much okay so I hope uh, this tutorial helps and if you have some questions regarding on how to color the hair um, you can leave a comment in the comment section below of this video and if you have any suggestions uh, of any tutorial that you would want in Photoshop CS6 just leave a comment below and I hope this video is helpful and informative to you to to all and I think 
uh, guys, this is uh, this is it for the meantime, and see you next time. See you for the next retreat. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.